Hello, everyone. This is Corporal Sider, and here's the mod review I've been promising for two freaking weeks. Um, it's not the mod I wanted to do, but this mod's better because the developer said he was done, like about, I think, during 1.2.5, but now he's back from the dead, I guess, or someone is reviving the mod. And, um, yeah, so right away you'll notice that we have um, extra inventory space. If you go ahead and press R, uh, you can do that, and you can notice it's, um, you can dual wield weapons, it looks like. And you can, like, punch with both hands. I think this works with mining. Uh, no, you can't punch stuff with that block. That Okay, that's a bug. If you use the pick block button, it'll automatically go right back to the, uh, the spot you were at. So, that's a bug that, that probably needs to be fixed. Um, but, um, yeah, anyway, but if you, if, if you want to put the stuff in those slots, you, you go ahead and press I. And you can um, have two offensive weapons equipped, a bow equipped, and nothing else, or a, a shield equipped in one of these slots and an offensive weapon. And since I sort of spoiled that this, this mod edge shield, why don't we talk about those first. Now, there are two kinds of shields. Circular shields, and I don't know what I'd call these other kinds, just other kinds of shields. But there are two circular kinds of shields. And um, so there's the wooden and the leather. The wooden one is crafted by putting wood in this cross shape. And um, you get a second of block, which basically you get one second of all damage and a 120 degree angle nullified. You see the skeleton here? This is me showing off the block. I attack it, and it's aggro on me, probably. Let me, let me go into survival mode. So now they're going to be aggro. As you can see, I didn't take any damage because I'm blocking. All uh, the leather is actually is crafted in the same way, except with leather around the wood. Uh, leather in a T-shape with the middle part being wood. And um, you actually get, let's find out, you get uh, one and a half seconds of block time. Next, now we move to these other shields, which um, have different properties. Which they're, they're basically their upgrades, but um, let's go to the. T but um, these shields are built with the ingots in a like um. See how it, it, they're in like a V shape, like on the left and right, and the top row left nothing, right, middle row, left wood right, and on the bottom row nothing something, uh, nothing middle nothing. Um, it, just in case you're you know you're you're just listening to this like you're not actually watching it, and uh, the gold will give you a, a whole two seconds of block time. Next up we have the iron shield which is built just how I described it, and you get three seconds of block, and the diamond shield will give you five seconds of block. And blocking is how you use it with the uh, durability. And um, in the old version of the mod, you could actually dye the shields, but they were, I think they removed that. I mean, I'm actually pretty sure they removed that. So let's just go ahead and grab one of these shields, um, and we'll just press I, and we'll put it in the shield slot. And I think if you press F5, it should, oh no, you, you, it should be on our backs. Press F5 again, maybe. Nope, okay. Uh, it used to be that um, it would be, you could see it on your back, but if we press R, uh, you can see that we have the shield, and uh, that meter on the top is how much we can block. So that's pretty cool. Let's hit R again. Uh, next up, we have the dagger, which um, there are all the daggers. They're variants of craft by putting a stone, a stick, sorry, and um, whatever you're uh, using on the a single diamond, wood, gold, stone, or iron on the top. And um, what, uh, it has minus two weapon reach, minus fifty attack speed, but there's backstab. Now I don't know how this works. I think if you get, a, I think if you just stab a mob in the back, which is what I have set up here. Fortunately, he's not facing the NPC villager anymore. So if I just, oh wait, get rid of those, and I stab him in the back. See, I don't know how much damage that uh, that would have done to him, but uh, just um, you can experiment with this. So it took three hits. Um, you guys can. Experiment with it, um, and if you know how it works, uh, leave a comment because I really have no idea. So why don't I just put all this crap in this chest? And uh, since I don't know how the dagger really works, I'll just leave that in there. Uh, next up are the st is the are the spears, which are long range weapons. The uh, this is the wood spear. It's actually just a staff, really, and if you get some extra reach with it, so you can like hit mobs from far away. And it says plus three mounted damage. I assume this means like on a horse you do extra damage. But I'm going to show you how far we can get. Oh, sorry. So the wood spear is just uh, three sticks and a diagonal line, and um, and to get any, to get any up get any upgraded spears, you need a wood spear and the corresponding upgrade on the top, whether it be diamond, iron, gold, or stone. So let me just go ahead and grab the uh, diamond spear. All of these have a plus two reach and plus three mounted damage. Um, it's just base damage. The diamond spear has the most. So let me show you how far away. So it has a max of I think let's see one, two. Six. I think this thing can hit like six blocks. I'm, I'm six, six blocks away. Look at that. 
I'm hitting a mob and I'm like not even that close to it. Isn't that not? Is that? Isn't that awesome? So we're gonna go ahead and um, whoops, we're gonna get go ahead and hit I, and we're gonna put the spear. Oh yeah, that's another super cool thing. Uh, so this one works. You, this you can actually. Oh yeah, now it's working. You can actually sh see the shield and spear on your back. Which is pretty fucking cool. Um, yeah. Uh, this is just if I screw that up. So why don't we uh, let's grab some uh, let's grab some more shields. You can also put a bow, but you can't equip a bow and a shield because that'd be that'd be kind of ridiculous. Anyway. Next up is the mace, uh, which is crafted by putting a stick in the bottom left, and then in the top right and middle, and the middle right and middle, like in a square shape, you put the corresponding uh, type of ma makes you want to build, whether it be wood, gold, stone, or um, diamond. And um, actually, the, the gold has the highest stun time, but the least damage. So basically, daze means it stuns the enemy, meaning it won't be able to move, and I think it used to be you see these blue particle effects, let's see if they kept that. Okay, yeah, th see that? So now the zombie's got particles. You know, 25% of the time, this mace will stun the, the, the enemy. Sorry if there was a rather awkward cut there, um, but you guys saw the, um, hopefully you saw those particle effects that I was talking about. Anyway, next up are the, uh... Uh, war axes, which have a uh, minus one overall damage, but um, plus um, I think plus a x amount of armor penetration. Gold has the highest armor penetration, but I'm gonna use the diamond war axe, and uh, we're actually going to grab the mace just so I can go on a killing spree. This is how you craft the war axes. The war axes are in this like um, it's similar how to tell you craft the shield, but you have two diamonds, two uh, four diamonds in uh, two sticks. Uh, it's on screen right now if you want to look at it. And the war axe has armor penetration, so I um, I spawned in the zombie with armor. So if I attack him with it, two, three, four. So now let's spawn in a zombie without armor and see how many hits it takes. One, two, three, four. You can probably break armor faster, is actually what that means. So it probably doesn't do more damage to enemies with armor, it probably can break armor or cut through armor faster, is what I'm assuming. Is what I am assuming. So this really cool they added chain, which you can get by putting two uh, iron ingots in a vertical line, and you get these three chain links. And you can actually use the chain to craft chain armor. Um, which is super cool. So anyway, that just about wraps it up. Uh, just again, an overview of the controls. Um, if you go to your controls, it says that Z does something special. I don't, I don't think it does anything yet. As of now, it does nothing. But um, I'm actually gonna go on a killing. I'm gonna go on a killing spree with uh, with my new weapons. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this mod, this mod review may have been relatively short. That's because I mean, in its current stage, they they removed a lot of stuff. Um. There, there was um, in the old version there was knight armor, banners, flag. It was, it was some, it was, it was some pretty, o it was some pretty OG shit. Hopefully they'll add a lot more stuff. Uh, hopefully you know, th since it's War Cry, I assume they'll probably do some, something like a dragon shout. This creeper wants to. You know what creeper? Eat a dick. Oh boy. No. Killed it. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been the War Cry mod review, as I've said. And uh, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I, I, I do micro videos every Monday. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, goodbye.